What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr, and I just got back home from visiting South Carolina State for their spring scrimmage today. Um, and first of all, I just want to say, man, I got the opportunity to talk to the legendary Coach Pugh himself, man, and that was a that was an honor within itself. You know, I talked to some of the guys on the coaching staff, introduced myself. You know, those are those are great guys, especially the offensive line coach and the defensive line coach. Those two, like those, those are just two great individuals. You can see why uh, players want to play for those guys. You know, um, just a just a great group, just a great coaching staff. Um, but I want to give y'all my takeaways from what I've seen now that I've been to South Carolina State the past two weeks. Um, Cause you know they're the home team. You know I'm born and raised in South Carolina. Of course I'm always look out. I'm a cover and give exposure to uh, South Carolina State. So first thing off the bat, um, Jablonski did not participate today. Um, so if y'all are looking for any update on him, it, you know just, he just didn't participate today. Um, however. De defensively, they looked great. I was thoroughly impressed with how they looked defensively. Um, the defensive line, great. The secondary, great. Linebackers were absolutely hitting. I mean, my goodness, man. Um, they they were good. Like they were really good. They brought that physicality back. It re it kind of reminded me of the Celebration Bowl from two years ago. Like they really had that kind of uh, physicality today. And of course, you know, I'm not a coach, so the coaches may think differently than me, or you know, because they have you know their coaches. But this is just my opinion, man. Defensively, you guys are fine. Like you you that has been your mo throughout you know South Carolina State's history. That's been kind of the the identity of your program, and it's going to continue to be. You guys are fine defensively and when you get Jablonski back it's only going to make things better okay and by the way I don't think Jablonski has a major injury he just wasn't participating today um so you, like don't worry about not you know when you hear that he's not participating don't worry about that um but yeah man like you guys were really good really good I think the transfer Aiden Weaver from Delaware State I think he's gonna pro he's gonna rack up a lot of tackles Next season, I, I, he he's gonna be an anchor uh, for that defense. So yeah, overall, man, those guys performed very well. Everybody in that secondary was on point. Um, there's not much I can say. There's not much. Now you, they did give up two two big runs uh, during the scrimmage, but that was all. Um, you know, because the running back the running back room is pretty talented in South Carolina State as well. So you know, the the kind of the, the the crazy thing with these scrimmages is you never know. Sometimes is the offense doing good? Is it the offense being that good? Or is the defense just slacking? You you, know, you never really know. But I can I can tell you right now, man. Defensively, y'all are fine. Like y'all are good. I'm very excited for what I see uh, from the defense. Offensively. Uh, I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to really talk about it offensively because the, the defense performed so well and like I said those two big runs that they had offensively really good like really good Tyler Smith is going to be a problem man he's really a rising star for this South Carolina State team and you know when he committed I told y'all that like I, I put stock in Tyler Smith from day one since he committed but man when he gets in the open field that kid is gone you are really gonna have to get an angle to catch Tyler Smith man that's just how fast he is the kid's explosive don't let him in the open field it's over with on top of that um the other running back I think it was Kenneth Dixon I think he was the other one who had that big runner if I'm wrong please you know, somebody let me know who else it was, but I feel like that was Kenneth Dixon who had the, the big touchdown run. Um, overall, offensively, I still need to see more. I I can say that I do like how they look. Like as far as the starting receiving, the, the starter, the starting receivers, I love how they look. Right, I love. I think that was Jawan Moody. Um, it was, you know, Raheem and like I I love how they look. Okay, I even love that. Uh, the backups that they have behind them. I think they're really good and they're really talented. You know, a young team, but they're just really talented. But I need to see more offensively before I can give y'all more of an analysis. Analysis because I was really focused on the defense, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I can say that Corey Fields looks a lot, a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? Explosive. Corey Fields look, looks a lot more explosive. Didn't really get to see that much of Andre Washington. Today, he was in for a couple of series. Um, and then we got to saw the uh, the third string quarterback. Um, 
but Corey Fields looks a lot more explosive. I don't know if it's because like, you know, he he shed a few pounds and he looks a little like he looks lighter, quicker. Like I I don't really know how to explain it. Just he looks explosive. Corey Fields looks explosive. He looks more comfortable. I mean, you know, when you've been doing it as long as he as long as he has, obviously that just comes naturally. So Corey Fields looks a lot better, man. And that's that's a great thing to be excited for. So overall, I would say South Carolina State is looking pretty good. And, you know, this is just the spring. Everybody isn't here yet. You know, they don't have all of their players here yet. The freshmen aren't here. Um, we don't know if they're the Everybody isn't here. Like these are some of these guys who we saw in the field today might not even be on the team um, by the time the season starts. You know, it's, it's just spring. But as for right now, they look really good, and I just love uh, being around the team and the program. Man, they just I love how they run things there. I really do. Um, it's easy to see why players want to play for them. Coach Pugh gave this great speech at the end um, about a bird flying. Uh, instead of flying south for the winner, you know, he stayed around. And, you know, I, I was I was listening. I was like, where, where is Coach Pugh going with this? And then at the end, you know, it was a pretty good lesson, man. And I was just like, I can I can really see why people love to play for him, man. That that man is a legend, no doubt. So um, shout out to Coach Pugh um, and the rest of the South Carolina State program. But those that's just my analysis, my quick takeaways from this spring scrimmage. I will be at – uh, I'm going to try to make another practice. I think they have one next Friday. I'll see if I can make that. But if not, then, then I will definitely see you guys at the spring game, the official spring game, um, to conclude the spring season, off season. So with that being said, you are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr, and I'm out. Peace.